So far in our RPG series, we've got our player moving in four directions. Left, right, up, and down. Using a blend tree that handles smooth directional movement. But right now, when the player stops, we don't have any idle animation in all directions. The current idle animation we have doesn't match the direction we're the player facing. In this tutorial, we're going to fix that. We'll set up a directional idle system so that when the player stops moving, they enter the right idle animation based on their last direction, whether it's up, down, or side. We're going to use a second blend tree for idling and smoothly transition between walking and idling depending on the player's input. Now, let's jump into Unity and create our directional idle animations. First, open the animation window and make sure your player character is selected. Click the Create New Clip button and let's name this one Side Idle. Inside the Animation tab, drag the appropriate idle sprite or frames for the side-facing idle pose. Do the same process again to create top idle. If you're using only one side idle, we'll flip the sprite in code later. Once those idle animations are ready, we can move on to the next step, building our idle blend tree to play the correct idle animation based on the last direction the player was facing. Now let's take a look at how we updated our player movement script to support directional idle animations. Here's the original version of our script. It handled horizontal and vertical input, flipped the sprite when moving left, and passed values directly to the animator. But it didn't remember the direction our player was facing when stopping. So idle animations couldn't be direction aware. Let's fix that. We start by adding a new variable called last move direction, initialized to face down. This way, the player will default to a downward idle when the game starts. Instead of using smooth input, we use get axis raw. This gives us clean, snappy directional values like negative one, zero, or one. It's better for pixel art and grid movement. Next, we use last move direction to decide if the player is looking left or right. If they last moved left, we flip the sprite, otherwise we keep it facing right. This line ensures we only update the facing direction when the player is actually moving. That way, when they stop, we still know which way they were facing. Here we pass the last move direction values to the animator, so it can play the correct idle animation based on the direction. And we also pass the speed, which is used to transition between movement and idle. With these changes, your character will now stop and idle in the correct direction, a key detail that brings more polish and realism to your RPG. In the next step, we'll jump into Unity's animator and create a blend tree to make all this work visually. All right, let's head over to the Animator tab and clean up our idle setup. First, select your player animator controller. And if you had a default idle animation state, go ahead and delete it. We won't be needing it anymore. Now, let's add a new parameter to drive our animation logic. Click the plus button in the parameters panel, choose float and name it speed. This will help us determine when the player is idle versus moving. With that done, let's go to the base layer and right-click in the empty space. Select Create State from New Blend Tree. Rename the New Blend Tree to Player Idle Tree. This is where we'll plug in our directional idle animations. Double-click to enter the Blend Tree and let's get started building it. Now that we've created our Player Your Idle Tree, let's configure it to blend between idle animations based on the direction the player is facing. Inside the Blend tree, make sure to set the Blend type to 2D Simple Directional. Then, assign the X input parameter to X input, 
and the Y input parameter to Y input. These are the same parameters we're setting from our movement script. They'll help the animator know which direction to show when the player is idle. Next, click the plus button four times to add four motion fields. One for each direction, up, down, left, and right. Now, we're ready to plug in the idle animations and map them to the right directions. Now let's assign our idle animations to the motion fields we just created. Start with your idle right animation, add it to the third slot and set it to X equals one, Y equals zero. Next, assign your idle left animation to the fourth slot and set its position to X equals negative one, Y equals zero. For the idle down animation, drag it into the first motion slot and set its position to X equals zero, Y equals zero, one. And finally, grab your idle up animation, drop it into the second motion slot and set its position to X equals zero, Y equals one. If you're using a single side facing animation and flipping it with code, you can assign that same clip to both left and right and let your sprite flip handle the difference. At this point, your blend tree is ready to dynamically play the correct idle animation based on the last direction your player moved in. Now that both our idle blend tree and movement blend tree are ready, let's set up the logic that tells the animator when to switch between them. Back in the animator base layer, locate your player idle tree and your player walk tree. Right click on player walk tree and choose make transition. Then drag the arrow to player idle tree. With the transition selected in the inspector, uncheck has exit time and add a condition, speed less than 0.01. This means if the player is not moving, we switch to idle. Now do the reverse. Right click on player idle tree, make a transition back to player walk tree. Again, uncheck has exit time and this time set the condition, speed greater than 0.01. These two transitions will handle switching between idle and movement states automatically based on how fast the player is moving. All right, now let's hit the play button and test everything we've built. Move your player around the scene. You should see the correct walking animation play as you go up, down, left or right. Now stop moving and watch closely. The player should automatically transition into the idle animation that matches the direction they were last facing. If you walk upward and stop, you should see the idle up animation. Walk left and stop, idle left. Everything is running through the blend tree logic we set up, driven by the speed, shinput and yinput parameters. This small detail adds a huge amount of polish and realism to your RPG. And that's it for this part. If it worked for you, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the next steps. We've got attacks, interactions, and enemy AI coming next. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Unity RPG content, animations, combat, AI, and much more coming up.